He hasn't sulked. He hasn't been over there sitting down. He's been cheering his guys on. And he's been being a good veteran. And a lot of times that's very hard to do when you've had a productive regular season, you get to the playoffs, and all of a sudden you're not playing. Yeah, when you've had a very good career. Yeah. yeah Chankar is going to the free throw line on the contact. But you, you bring up a really valid point. I remember when he came into the league. He was so, he's so, I mean, he's still athletic, but he was so athletic when right. he first came to the league. And his mom, Pam, what a yeah. player she was, too. What a kick she was. You ever play, played no summer league games where you got the running clock? That's kind of what we got going on. You get 10 fouls, too. It belongs to Portland. They've got right. a lot of offensive weapons. I mean, it, it's, it's going to be a tough one, but I like Portland. I know there's going to be a game where C.J. McCollum goes crazy, and that hasn't happened yet. So I think that Portland has more skill. And then on top of that... <laughs> Boy, it's late, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Marcus Howard gets the triple. Man, that clock couldn't even run fast enough. <laughs> He was big, I man. He, he coordinated a lot of our offense. I, I, you know, Rick Carlisle always jokes around that Terry Stotts and, and him, they run all the same plays right now because a lot of the plays that play it matches up with the Blazers because Stotts is calling his old plays. He, he really is. <laughs> he really is, man. But that was a truly special team. The coaching staff was great, too. The game plans were phenomenal.